Well, Pfizer is recalling one million packets of birth control pills because of a packaging error that could affect dosage. Five Police in Fullerton need your help to find an elderly woman missing since yesterday morning. Seven weeks indeed. Well, in your health news today, a proposed medical marijuana mouth spray has little potential for abuse, according to experts. And for the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. All right, well, in today's Eat Beat, LA Times food editor Russ Parson shows us how to make one of his favorite weekday dinner dishes. Let's take a look. Well, Susan G. Komen for the Cure Foundation has recently severed all ties with Planned Parenthood based on recently adopted criteria, saying they would not fund any organization that was under government investigation. Now, in September, a Republican congressman from Florida launched an inquiry to determine whether Planned Parenthood uses public money to fund abortions. Planned Parenthood does receive federal funding but cannot use it to provide abortions. It is a very prickly political issue which has even turned violent, and that was very clear for me today when I had to go through layers of security, even bulletproof windows, just to get inside Planned Parenthood to do this interview. However, the executive director of the Chicago-based Pro-Life Action League says pro-life people object to Komen giving money to Planned Parenthood because, quote, since they are the nation's largest abortion chain, every dollar facilitates their operations, end quote. Nevertheless, many people are rallying behind Planned Parenthood today. In fact, just in the last 24 hours, they have raised more than $400,000. Reporting in South Los Angeles, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News.